Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. Thank you for your likes, overwhelming comments, positive, negative. They are always welcomed here. Apart from the insults, we don't take insults. We don't insult and so we don't expect insults. We are not here fighting. Guys, kindly understand we are only here to analyze, criticize, agree, disagree, and also learn from some of these videos that we are pulling out here, which we analyze we analyze public videos that have been already been publicized i want to say thank you so much for my supporters thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i really mean it thank you my super slappers thank you my keyboard reactors thank you my uh, premier gang members moderators and everyone who makes sure that this channel is growing i really thank you and i can't take that for granted that is why i have to prolong this intro just for you have you checked my store guys kindly do check and pick anything that you feel is good for you just to support this channel am carol we do have hoodies t-shirts for ladies and men we do also have accessories mugs and string bags you can pick anything for yourself just to support this channel am carol now today we are in jamaica can we breathe a little bit about Nyabohanse. <laughs> Can we? Please. Let's go back to Jamaica. In Jamaica, things are very hot. Our girl D is not happy. At all. At all, at all, at all. She did a video yesterday. And it was a very scary video. I've never seen this kind of live videos. Since I started YouTube. <laughs> the girl started YouTube. And she sat there for two good minutes just looking on the screen it was so scary who does that anyway after that everyone was writing in the live chat oh d you're not happy d you're not happy d what's up d you're sad and stuff like that and she's just staring at them like you know oh my god i've never seen this girl's face I think this is the high time that she's coming out to start showing us her real face, you know, when it comes to these issues, you know. Anyway, in that live video that she did yesterday, all comments were turned off. Meaning, she doesn't want to hear from anyone. She doesn't want to listen to anyone's advice or anything. What she has said is final. What she said in that video was final. No comments, no nothing, no nothing, no nothing. Like, she doesn't have time for anyone, okay? <laughs> Unfortunately, in the live comment, I mean in the live chat, I could see what people were writing to her. At the same time, D was fighting, not really fighting. I don't know how I can put it in English. How do people say, oh, English is not my language, you know? She was actually calling out moderators. In the first, I don't know how many minutes, in the first six minutes, in the first six minutes of this live, there were no moderators, even one. Even one. She kept on calling for moderators and even threatening to start, you know, getting more moderators because these ones, they were sleeping, according to her. D was so furious yesterday. And I'm trying to imagine what is D furious about before she started saying what is disturbing her because she started saying what she wanted to say after 40 minutes in the live video the live video i think it took around one hour and 50 minutes and now she's starting to address the real thing after 40 minutes in that life you know, guys, <laughs> I'm trying to pull these things together, you know. First of all, before we know what she, she wants to talk about, she has to show us first the attitude, her environment, how it's smelling like, how it's looking like. She has to be too harsh and gloomy and furious and whatever it is, you know. So she's giving us this vibe on the live video. At some point, I said... Is it all about reactors? You know, sometimes, you know, <laughs> we know we are the wicked ones here on these streets. Apparently, in this video, it looks like now even reactors are not the wicked people on the streets. 
according to her. But before she says what she wants to say, <laughs> am I stalling again? <laughs> Someone in the comment section was like, D, you are stalling. Can you start? Can you start? And she was like, <laughs> oh God, I thank God for my smiling face because I don't know how to become furious. Like honestly, in real life, since I was young. Now, this is the fall of the Mwango and Marwa, first of all. That is how I call this video, the title, The Fall of D. Mwango and Marwa. D. tells Marwa, in this video, I felt like she was trying to address Marwa. She's trying to put it like in a good way. He's my good brother. He helped me this. He helped me that. But the main message, she is replying Marwa. What Marwa said in my yesterday video, guys, I think you saw what Marwa told Dimwango. Now she's coming for Marwa, but not directly. She's coming like trying to blame the interviewer. <laughs> That's how she came. Now, before we get there, she tells Marwa, listen, no one tells me what to do. Even in my family, no one tells me what to do. Not even my family, not even my dad, not even my mom. No one tells me what to do. She said that in that video. She said, when I go home, I go home to relax. I can manage A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. She said all these things in the videos that we are going to hear. But before we get to that, this girl... Dimwango. She came for Trudy Kitui, the girl who did that interview with Marwa, where Marwa addressed Dimwango in her channel. Dimwango came for her. <laughs> Dimwango came for her. Full, 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 one on one. Full, full. <laughs> you know when I say full, full. Eh? And this is what she said. She said, gossipers are coming to the village. They are pretenders. Why she can't go to the party? Why are people coming? These are gossipers. These are these. These are pretenders. They are coming in the village to ask my brother's questions just for views. According to Dimwango, that is how she sees. This is how she sees this. Now, let's listen to Dimwango first before we proceed. Because this story... It's a very long one, guys. It's okay. It's part of life. And sometimes you just have to take it easy the way it is. So right now that they are content creators, all they want to do is, oh, give me a shout out. Oh, I need to come and collab. Oh, hey, I need to do this. They just, I, I just don't know. But I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Okay. So now, mo some of them that I don't even know, you know where they come from. I like I have no relationship with them at all at all. They're not my friends. Like I don't know them at all at all. You know? Now they're trying to go back home, trying to get my brother and be like, How do you feel your sister is not here for the party? <laughs> like I'm like, yo, they're just doing this just to get the views. And I wonder why they have to use my name over and over. How do you feel? And tagging me. Please. Tagging my name, please have respect. D Mwango is a is a brand, it's a big brand. Don't try tagging me anywhere, everywhere the way you feel like. You know? Just for your selfish gain. You know? How do you feel like your sister is not here for the party? Come on. Come on. Ease up yourself and relax. And they're just doing that just to get views. Like you know, like it's crazy. Just look at them and I'm like, yo. Like, where were you? Where were you when I, was, when I was building up myself? Now that I built my name, you have to run with it, you know? And I'm like, yo, you don't need to do that, you know? Build up yourself as well. You don't need to run with my name, re left, right, center, and all that, and be like, you know, making a big deal out of it, you know? And trying to make it feel like, oh, Dish is so ungrateful. She's not here. Everything that you did for him, look. Ease up yourself and relax. 
me i'm still grateful the same the same way and i normally tell everybody i am where i am today because of my brother if it wasn't for him i couldn't be like a traveler today and all that so please 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 stop mentioning my name trying to grow your channel because of my name please ease up yourself please 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 you know stop using my name and tagging me when you're going to do your own interviews just just leave me alone okay stop tagging me left right center and the good thing all those gossip channels that are doing videos you know trying to tag me and talking bad about me when i go home i don't want to see anybody close to me trust me i don't want to see anybody me i'm not looking for fame i'm not looking for fame yeah i'm not looking for fame and most of the people who are going to the party these are just gossipers looking for shout outs and you know and just try to see what can i what can i run with 90% are pretenders 90% most of those youtubers you know like sometimes i watch the videos and i'm like yo when my brother is at home yo cameras up like 200 cameras 300 400 on one and i'm like yo is this a party or this is a is a paparazzi thing like it's crazy yo like i'm like yo thank god thank god i'm not there to you know to experience that because personally me i can't handle i can't handle that i can't handle these people are just there just to get views nothing they're not like genuine people somebody traveling all the way from mombasa to my village just to look for just to look for fame like you know like it's crazy it's crazy no good intentions nothing and you know when people want something they can do anything leaving their homes their blankets their everything running over there not just because of they are happy celebrating just because they are there to look for gossip it's crazy it's crazy and i'm like yo i'm glad i'm not there and please if you are one of them don't dare dm me like d i wanna do me i'm not looking for 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 like fame i'm not looking for anybody to boost me up i'm not looking for anything related to that and all these people they are kenyans they are kenyans just for cloud so if you are one of them just just keep you know just just don't dm me me i'm not looking for fame i don't want to be on those so called tvs and stuff don't call me don't 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 dare don't dare <laughs> you rather don't dare call me you don't dare call me you know if you ever tag me talking about nonsense and all these things trying to make me yeah you know trying to paint my name and look like your dish is this and that then when i'm back home you're running left right center looking for me please don't look for me me i'm not looking for fame i'm not looking for fame to get shout outs from your youtube channels or whatever me i'm not looking for that i'm not people are just so opportunistic out here you know they're trying to be around when it's beneficial for them you know leaving your home all the way from from mombasa running to the countryside it's crazy like they have nothing to talk about they have to put d in the mix like without d being in the mix is nothing it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy please try put me out of the mix if you're going for the and you guys you can clearly see you can clearly see they're just there to look for clout nothing else they're not like people going there to like to celebrate and be like yo we came for a house party congratulations we love what you do that's not the thing they just go there carrying their cameras carrying extra batteries and carrying extra microphones just to <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy i just look at them and i'm like yo <laughs> this says i'm like yo i'm like yo i'm like yo i'm like yo <laughs> d has been copying our girl miss trudy <laughs> and she still doesn't want to accept that but anyway it is what it is guys did you hear the reason why d did not want to go to the village. This is the reason. She sees everything and she's not even ready to cope with it. When she mentioned Mombasa, I remembered the XPA, Paris, and uh, the Bakibaki, Minhawi. They left Mombasa to come and stay in the village. <laughs> 
you know what i still feel for them i really feel for them big time i really feel for them they've been there and the party is almost ending and there's no one that has come in the house that they had prepared as an airbnb in the village because this airbnb was supposed to be hosting some of the international visitors that were supposed to be coming from abroad the international visitors you know there were supposed to be many of them and the girls from mombasa they came and prepared a house for them i still feel sorry for them as much as d mwango is also feeling sorry for them leaving mombasa leaving everything that you have just to come in the village with your batteries extra batteries and your extra microphones and all. <laughs> the way she put it i just feel i just i really feel it one thing i also noticed is that dimwango was addressing i marwa in this video marwa should open his eyes marwa should open his ears to also learn from his own sister she said that she's not looking for fame and that is the reason why she stayed away so who was looking for fame it is marwa who was looking for fame it's Mara who is still looking for fame. It's Mara who is always entertaining these people who are always coming to the village. Always coming, always coming from all parts of Kenya. People are coming from central Kenya, eastern Kenya, western Kenya, all over the place. They should come and see. Maro will give them a shout out, you know, because Maro is this good guy. And so Maro, you know, because he has to become famous. So he has to do a party that had to be turned into a shout out YouTube classes and all these things. I don't know how you call them. Dim Wango is coming to address Maro in this video. She's like, when I come back home, I don't want to see all those people coming close to me. Because me. I'm not looking for fame. <laughs> hey, I agree with Dimwango on this one. Don't come and kill me for me. I agree with her. You know, she's like, me, no, I'm not going to, I can't take it. When I come back home, I want to relax. You know, it is home for God's sake. I've been working all over the place. Now I'm coming back home. I want to rest. So Dimwango saw this earlier, earlier. And she stayed away from this. But she did not want to tell Marwa that she's staying away from all this drama. She's been hiding Marwa until when that lady, Trudy Kitui, came to interview Marwa and came out with this story. And now D feels very offended because she feels like this lady has come to unearth something that she was hiding. And now Marwa has opened his eyes to understand, oh, Dimwango would have been around. And I don't understand why Dimwango is not around. And guys, Dimwango cannot give me any excuse as to why she's not here. You understand? So this lady opened Marwa's eyes and Marwa was also furious yesterday. If you checked yesterday's video, he was like, sister, I'm not happy. And Dimwango is like, oh, that girl has come to unearth something that I've been hiding. You know, she's been playing sneaky, sneaky with Marwa, trying to hide in Jamaica. But she cannot face Marwa to tell Marwa, listen, bro, I can't handle what you're handling. That thing that you are doing is not for me. I can't take it. I can't handle. What is wrong with someone just telling your own brother if you love him and trust him? Why can't you tell him so that he can understand you as a person? That, oh, this is what I do, but my sister can't do this. She's staying away because this is not her thing. She wants to come back home when everything is cool for her to rest. She can't take this. She, do she doesn't want to change her channel into collabs. She does, you know, this is the way it is. Just be true to yourself. Be true to the people who are close to you. Be true to the people that you claim you love. The people that you claim that they love you. Imagine after hailing Marwa, asking for those uh, subscribers that she was asking. Uh, she was just trying to cover Marwa's face. 
You see, this is how smart she thought that she was. She's trying to cover Marwa, you know, give shout outs to Marwa and, you know, mention Marwa all the time and blah, 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 blah. Just for Marwa not to do what, not to realize that this girl is not in for me, especially with this party issue. So she just decided to be saying, oh, my brother did this to me, my brother, nah, 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 my brother, nah, 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 my brother. But you see, the brother is waiting for you back at home. He wants you to be with, with him. And you're here covering and saying blah, 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 blah. What is wrong with these other people coming in the village to open his eyes and see the bigger picture? Now, Dimwango is very upset. She is blaming them. She is blaming them and calling them and insulting their channels and blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, for me, I feel like she is also addressing Marwa. Let's continue listening to Dimwango, guys. Nothing at all, you know. So for those who are like, yo, D, you could be here. I could be there to do what? I could be there to do what? Honestly, give shout outs. Give shout outs or do what? Just tell me, honestly. Huh? Just, just tell me. Huh? Most of these people are just people who are just around when it's beneficial for them, nothing else. Oh, how do you feel D Mwango is not here with their car, with their, with their microphones and all this? You know, they're there already and they're not even there to just celebrate or do nothing at all. They just traveled all the way from their homes to the village to just put D in the mix and just try cause trouble and all that. You know, so me, I don't stand for that. I don't stand for that. I don't stand for that. Yeah, somebody saying, D, I see you're so sad. Yeah, I'm so sad because some paparazzis, they just leave their homes, leave their blankets, and just try to push D in the mix. Yo, how do you feel D is not here? How do you do this? How do... I wonder. They just have to put me in the mix. Man, me, I'm not, I'm not happy about that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not happy at all, at all, at all. And guys, me, I'm not looking for any shout outs and gigs and all those things from nobody. You know? So I think same way they should just let me be, just do what I need to do and and that's it. You know? That's it. That's it. I hope this message has arrived to Trudy Kitui. <laughs> it is Trudy Kitui who was there interviewing Marwa with the three and four microphones, with the extra batteries and blah, 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 all those things that this girl is pulling out. Like, yeah, I'm sad because of this and this. She's not sad because of that. She is sad that Marwa has been opened. The eyes, not the eyes, the eye. Sorry, guys. The eye has been opened, you know. She said that, Oh, you know what? I travel the world with only one eye. And, you know, sometimes it can be a bit challenging when you're traveling the world with one eye. It can be a little bit challenging, you know. So sometimes you can't see things clearly. You can't see all these things unless someone else comes out there to help you to see these things. It's not his fault as well because it's not easy, you know, for someone to walk around with one eye. Seeing all these things from all corners like this, it's not easy. Forgive him. Now, the sister knows his, her, her brother's weaknesses. And that is why you see, she was hiding behind him. Showing him that she's supporting him. When, in real sense, she was not. She's like, oh, I'm supporting my brother. I love my brother. It's me because of this. Happened. My brother did this to me. This is eh, all those things she's pulling out. And talking about Marwa hailing Marwa all over the place, but that is not what Marwa needed, especially at this point. Marwa has been asking her to go back home. <laughs> hey, he gave her the room and he called her, said, Sister, you should come back home. Your room is waiting for you. Come and finish your room. I remember when he said that sometimes back. Did she go? Marwa called her. Did she go? Instead, she decided to call for people. To add Marwa's subscribers. Guys, come, come. You know, if you don't know he's my brother, come and subscribe. Come and subscribe. Come and subscribe. We are heading to half a million, half a million plastic love to cover Marwa. As if that is what Marwa really wanted. Marwa wanted her sister. 
Hey, to be in the village. The sister refused. All the guests that were supposed to come in that village, they never came. All the people who were close to Maro when he was traveling down there, the people who came were the people that Maro had never met before. Most of them. Did Mutua three come? <laughs> and the other friends that he's been, Eloise, all those people that he's been meeting, even the other boys that he met in Jamaica, in Mexico, in uh, all these people, even the other girls that, did they come? No one came. So now he's blaming also the sister. He should also go and start blaming all those other friends that he used to have. He used to invite them to come in the party. He should also go back and also, you know, blame them. Here is a blame game, blame game. Now, my question here is, what is going to happen after this? This is now my biggest worry. This is now the thing that is going to open our eyes and ears on these streets. What is next for Dimwango and Marwa? Remember, guys, Marwa is not happy already. He said it. He said, sis, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I needed you here. And there's no excuse that you can give me for not coming here. They have opened my one eye. Now I can see that you are just hiding behind me. Okay? I'm not happy. So, what is the next move now? Because Maro is not happy with the sister. And now the sister also is coming out here to address Marwa and tell Marwa, how do you see me? This is how I see it. Okay, this is my honest opinion about this, okay? These are not facts. These are just opinion. D comes, it's like D has come to ask Marwa, listen, do you think I need fame? Do you think my channel is for shout outs? Do you think I can deal with people who are, you know, pretenders? That's what she said. Do you, I, I I'm, I'm trying to put it in one word because she said a lot. Okay. So let me try to put it in like, in like a one sentence. <laughs> eh? Do you think I can handle pretenders? Do you think I can handle people who are coming here because of their own benefits? I can't handle paparazzi. My channel is not for shout outs and I'm not looking for fame. I think that's enough. She would have just said that in one sentence instead of going into too many stories. But this is what she said. This message was for Marwa, direct. When I come home, I want to rest. I don't want to see all these people coming around with their cameras on my face. This is my home. Home is home. I want to rest when I'm home, Marwa. I don't want all this shenanigans, all this drama around you. I'm not looking for fame. This is the message that Dimwango sent to Marwa. She's trying to bring it like, oh, she's upset with the interviewer and all these things. But the message is straight to Marwa. Now, how is Marwa going to take this? That Dimwango has just sent to him. I don't know, guys. I'm trying to imagine, but I don't want to start over imagining. You know, sometimes <laughs> overthinking on the streets. Eh? Come in the comment section. Let's analyze together. Let's talk about it. Let's oversee things. Let's overthink. Let's overimagine things. Put all these things together. Analyze, criticize, expose, and also agree or maybe disagree if you have to. Because that's what we are here to do. Guys, I don't know what to think about all this. Can you like this video? Leave your comments down below. Okay. And also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be among the first people to be notified. And also, I noticed something that people are asking me about the notifications. They don't see the notification. Guys, maybe you can also restart the not notification bell. You can go back and click on the notification bell, put it off, and then put it on again. Maybe that can help you also to get my notifications, okay? I've also refreshed from my side. Maybe you can also refresh from your side. Guys, what can I say? Let's meet on the next one.